Hello darlings, I am Mr. Pusser of Audible's Darkest Muse, and in today's episode, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Number one, makeup. Don't be afraid of makeup. Always wear more than you think is allowed. It photographs better and it's visually striking on stage. Number two is costume. Performers spend a huge amount of money on costumes and you need to look at it as an investment. Learn how to style something old with something new and make sure your costume does not look cheap. This will reflect badly on you and you will come across as looking amateurish. <laughs> if your character is cheap, then by all means. Number three, wigs. This is a wig from China or Hong Kong. I don't know, but it's great. So have cheap wigs, cheapwigs.com, that number again. Wigs are a wonderful way to change your hairstyle and also alter your face. Sometimes I would use wigs and sometimes I would actually paint my head. Accessories on your head are a wonderful way to change your, your outside appearance, your character, and I have a large collection of hats. I encourage that. Number four, when you go on stage and you are a different character, this should reflect in your body language, your posture and your personality. Try walking differently. Number five, performance style. Now, this is completely individual. Maybe you're a circus fire eater, or maybe you are a ballet dancer. It's different for everyone. But do adapt each performance style to a specific character that you are portraying on stage. You can have lots of fun with this, and there's no set rules for that. And finally, number six, confidence. If you don't feel confident on stage, it will show in your performance. So this makes the audience sometimes very uncomfortable. So whatever you do, fake it. A lot of performers fake it with the help of a bottle of gin. Not that I am suggesting alcohol, but this seems to be the mode of choice. It's very good for the vocal cords. If I'm gonna endorse any alcohol, sherry for the voice. I keep the flask in my bag. <laughs>